in today's video, we are going to use several things to make our paper clips. So let's get to it. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today we are making paper clips. So I'm going to be showing you several ideas. We have some brand new um, junk journalers in our midst. And so I'm going to go back and even show some of the old school, uh, really simple things that we do. I have my five um, clips from my binding kit. Okay, so those are what I'm going to be using that will stay in my journal. And then I've got some others and I'll have to use those in something else. Okay, so to start off with, I have these tickets. Okay, these were, um, I, I've already cut out a couple. Okay, so here we got, got a couple of these already cut out but these were stamped from one of the stamp sets that I'm using okay so I have a piece and I have um, let's come over here so I have one ticket and I have a piece of the cardstock that I'm using okay so I'm gonna want to cut out a piece from this let's go ahead let's come up to this this area here I think it might be kind of fun to just go ahead and rip that and that'll make it a little bit bigger I want to turn my numbers so they are up and I am going to use one of the orange ticket or the orange um, paper clips okay and I'm just going to put that over. You see that the large part is on the back. The small part is on the front. And we are going to bring out the fabric tack. And I like to use fabric tack for this part because it um, dries quickly. It, and I used to use a glue stick. Okay, so I used to use a glue stick for this part. And oh, until it... Um, I got burnt. <laughs> a hot glue gun. I shouldn't say a glue stick. Yeah, a glue stick, but a hot glue gun. And um, because the, you know, obviously, duh, the, um, the metal heats up when you use a hot glue gun. And it, it hurt really bad. <laughs> so I stopped using a hot glue glue gun to do this and started using fabric tag. It's also faster and I don't have to have my heat gun turned on all the time. So there I have just a little ticket on um, paper clip. This can go sideways or can go from the top. Now in my box I do have some ribbon so I can go ahead and grab some ribbon and add this okay and I can either just put it on here just like that I could um, adhere it with a little bit of glue if I wanted to and the thing about that is if this was going somewhere inside the journal it would help with the bulk so um, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right here and put those two pieces together so that if this ends up on one of the smaller pieces on the inside, I'm not, um, it's not a problem. Okay. Okay. So I have added ribbon. Okay. And of course, then I'm going to come over and see about adding one of my flowers maybe to the side here see we're a little I mean yeah I think that'll work right there um, because we're in the one one box junk journal challenge um, I can only use what's in my box, 
Okay, so the 20 items and then the items that I've unlocked in the mini challenge in the challenge, those are all that I can use to put this together. And um, so we that's what we're doing here. We're using just what I have. Um, I do have a dictionary page, and I think I'm going to go ahead and just bring that down right there. And that will collage it all together and give me my three items. Not a whole lot of bulk here. Um, okay, so there I have a paper clip. Now I already have made a paper clip for this um, for this journal, and so. Um, let's see, we need another, uh, let's, let's try, let's, um, yeah, okay. I think we'll go with the orange side. Okay, so taking a piece of something and folding it like that works really good. I'm going to go ahead and come in and... Trim this down just a little bit because I like this look here. I, I like that look. Okay, so we're going to grab one of, um, let's grab one of the larger ones because this is a large paper clip. Again, I'm going to put the small side on the inside and the large part on the outside. And we're going to close that up again. So it's kind of cool to be able to use um, a strip. Okay, so this is another idea using a strip of paper. But I like I like this look over here. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, and um, for this one, let's go ahead and see what we've got over here in the. Okay, we've got the the vase of flowers. I think that might be kind of cool. So they, these are the stickers that I made using my dad's um, drafting stuff. Now, can I? I can put that down, but I think I'm gonna like it better if it's. We'll trim it. Yeah. I don't want to lose that line. Okay. So there's that. Kind of like the idea of the ticket down here. And then maybe one of my, yeah, so let's put the flower on. So this was from some note paper. And I just went in and trimmed, ripped a bunch of the note paper pieces. So this is going to give me a larger um, paper clip. And the thing with the larger one is it's going to, it's probably going to help hold things better. Okay. I'm going to go at an angle. Okay. So we've used sticker, ticket, or stamping, sticker, stamping, and note paper. And again, we can add the ribbon or we can add lace up here at the top. Um, let's see, I have, you know what I have? I have, let's try a piece of this. So one of the things that I chose was this burlap ribbon that has lace going down the middle of it. 
as one of my 20 items. So let's try, try this. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And it's something different. Okay. And this will probably be sticking out of the top of the journal, but that gives me another paper clip. And again, this one was using the um, strip of paper and I did trim it down a little bit. So you got that rough looking edge there. I really like that. Let's move these like right over here. Okay. Um, okay. So looking at this, this is a uh, one of the stickers that we already put onto a paper and so I'm thinking we could go ahead and do use that for a banner okay so this is one of those stickers and it has been attached to a piece of my cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and um and roll this. Sometimes it's easier if you have something to roll it on. Okay, to roll it over. Okay, you can just fold it also. <laughs> but I've, I've found that the rolling helps to be able to get it over my clip, okay? So on the clip, this it's too big for this one. It would fit on one of these, but I don't have um, one of these available right now um, in my kit. So we'll go with this green, this or uh, this green one, and we're going to go ahead and for paper to paper. We'll add some glue and we'll have to hold it down. But these banner ones are really fun. You can do this with fabric. Um, all different kinds of paper. So you only need five um, paper clips for your will help hold it down. Five paper clips um, is what we need to make. We've already got one. Uh, we did a hidden paper clip in the video the other day. We did a hidden paper clip and a hidden journaling card. So we'll do another one of those real quick here. Okay, so that's gonna give me a banner. And I think hanging from my banner, I'm going to want some lace. So I need to get <laughs> to where the lace starts again in my, my thing here. I'm still holding on to the... Okay, and I chose this... Um, it's from Dollar Tree. I chose it because it gave me lace, it gave me burlap, and my lace could be um, wrong scissors. I'm supposed to be using these scissors. <laughs> um, could be cut in half just like this. Okay. I'm, I'm done. This is not. <laughs> uh, staple it because it's, I'm like, I don't have time to wait for you. <laughs> okay. So, um, now we were able, you're able to use any of your glue, any glues. So. And 
that's a good thing because I've sure used all my different glues. So just adding a little piece of lace down there. Okay. And so this one is going to go on in this direction. Now the other thing that you could do, I don't have my, um, my little pliers are not part of my kit, but you could go ahead and curl the edge of that top piece there, which would be kind of cool. Um, let's see. We can use ribbon because it's one of my, my things. And, um, You know what, we'll do the, the glue method again. Wrong glue. Let's put it on. I'm gonna put the, here we go. Bring it over. Okay. And that one will be this piece will be able to hang off probably even out of the um, the journal now if I put all that push that over to the edge so this is all together I could add a ticket here would I rather add it there also have more flowers, of course. Okay, I like that. I'm going to go with a little bit of glue on here and a little bit of glue on here. And my flower is going to go between the two. Okay, and we, where's... We could add lace up here at the top as well. Kind of like that. Okay, so we have lace, ribbon, and uh, note paper, which is the flower. Okay, let's get glue and then pull it over. Glue and pull it over. top okay so this one will come in from the side of a paper from the side of a page okay so come in and hold something like this and I'll be able to hold something in the back as well. And so, yeah, so a banner paper clip. Okay, well, heck, while we've got the this out, why don't we go ahead and cover this with some... glue stick. So I did order from um, Spectrum Art Creations. I ordered some more of my Tombow glue sticks. So that will be, that will be a good thing to have come in, in the mail soon. In the meantime, we'll use uh, we'll use what's in my stash. Okay, put those over. I'm I'm really liking the way the glue sticks work with tissue and napkins and and things. Okay, so I have this here, and I do have one large large one left. Okay. Um, So let's see. Okay, 
I'm going to want to put this onto some cardstock or, or something. I do have a piece of, yeah, I don't think that's going to be thick enough. So let's grab a piece of cardstock and let's go ahead and get our Hmm. Okay. <laughs> like Okay, so that's what we're going to do for our We're going to cut that. And then we'll come and add it to this cardstock. Okay. That will just uh, make it stronger. It just makes it easier when it's <laughs> when it's stronger. Okay. So now, um, what I can do? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Cut it and cut it. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece of the cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around the whole piece of this, okay? Yeah, we'll go around the, around the whole thing with our glue. all the way around and then we're going to go cardstock to cardstock cardstock to cardstock and there we go Cut this piece off. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to let this dry. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to build another one, okay? Oh, it doesn't quite fit, So, but that's okay. You know what we'll do on this one? We'll just go um, orange over orange. So that's going to go, that's going to be that side. This is going to be, okay. Okay, so we have this set up. We're going to go ahead and like we would a hidden journaling card, we're going to go ahead and cut right down this line, okay? That's going to give us a spot here and a spot here, okay? See that it opens? Um, let's see, how much space do we have? I think we can go about like this. Let's see if we can fit that in there. What we're going to do is we're going to have some hidden journaling space. Did I do it wrong? Oh, sideways. It comes from the side, right? Yeah. So this is going to go and sit in there. Then 
we'll cut cut this piece and we'll put that in there okay see that we'll come back we'll add glue here and here and here okay so that's going to give us a hidden journaling card woohoo like that And then I want to add it to a paper clip. Okay, so this might be interesting. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be. You know what? We we can do this one. We'll have a hint. Okay, let's do it with this one. Okay. Yeah, because it'll still pull off like that. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a paper clip behind here. Yeah, I'm I'm this is <laughs> as I'm uh as I'm thinking of it. Okay, so this side is going to go under here. Okay? So I have a little piece that's about the same size as that. And I'm going to add that on there. Then on this side, I'm going to have this piece is going to go under. Okay. This piece is going to go under. And this piece is going to go over. And I'm going to be able to have a hidden paper clip here. Okay. So that'll go like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this one put together gobbledy gloop around the the paper clip and then we'll go this one's the smaller piece so I'm going to go put my glue on this smaller piece and that gobbledy gloop I want it right up around the okay so around the edge of the smaller piece then I can add it to the larger piece Okay, so this is going to be what you find on the other side. Okay, just like that. And then this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach this piece to, uh, sorry, to this one. Okay, right along in here, around. And this is going to give us our hidden paper clip with a hidden journaling card. So we'll have two hiddens taken care of on this piece. Uh-oh, I had one more thing I wanted to do here. Um, <laughs> oops. Um, let's go ahead and, yeah, like we needed any more paper on here, but we're going to go ahead and... We're going to put this down to cover that <laughs> because I wanted to do something else here. We need to add a, um, and we can do it to this one too. A 
can do it to the bottom of this one. I need some antique uh, lace things. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut two holes in this. If I go pretty close together, if I can do it. You know what? I need to use my crocodile. I can't. I can't um, push that. I can't get it to go through. Crocodile is an amazing tool. So um, my wrist is acting kind of funny right now. So there we go. So I've got the two holes on this one, and then I'm going to put two holes in the bottom of this one. These are gonna go on the opposite sides of a page, so. Okay. Um, okay, so we need some of our ribbon. And we're just gonna do the um, tie, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go through this first hole. And remember, these antique ribbon closures, they were, I found them on antique, like, greeting cards and vintage greeting cards, and they were used a lot, okay? And so then you just go through this hole again, um, Usually I'll use a large needle, but I'm gonna try this with, okay. And then this one can come back through. I just need to be able to grab it. So remember, if you do this week's mini challenge in the challenge, you get to add dic dictionary pages to your box. So um, that's been kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half and cut it at an angle, giving me the snake tongue, or some people call it a dovetail. When I was in Campfire Girls, my leader called it a snake tongue. So I always, <laughs> I've always called it a snake tongue. Um, okay, so, so there we have a tie. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing and have this ready for that side. And that will give me um, two of these which is helpful uh, to have two antique closures done. But you can see it's pretty easy. You go from the, the main side, and go through, okay? So from the main side, go through, pull. Now you can also do the in and out, which is just literally putting your paper or your ribbon in and out. Okay, believe it or not, there were some that that's how they were, just like that, just an in and out. And you know what? I think that's what we'll do on this one. And we'll just give it a little bit of glue um, uh, in the back because this is going, we want it to make sure that things come through here really easy and don't get hooked up on this. Okay, so we'll put a little glue down here and I'm going to put some glue on the inside of here to help hold it closed. Okay. Grab the glue off. Okay. So this is in and out. So you probably can at least do the in and out. <laughs> And then I'm going to add one of our flowers over here on the center of the in and out. 
I think I'm gonna like that, okay? So this is one of the, the scissors from the note paper. I want to, I want to straighten this out though. Okay. Okay, I'll fix that up after we finish this. Okay, so we have a tie and we have an in and out happening. And now we need to add glue here. Hopefully this glue will wake up that glue and we'll add this on top. We'll hold it. Okay, remember these two are going to go on opposite sides of, of a journal page. Okay. Especially want that bottom part to stick. Want it all to stick, but need the bottom to stick so that it, the page doesn't keep getting caught up when you're trying to put it in. Okay, so we'll have a hidden journaling card here, and I did it backwards, but it would be really hidden journaling. You just write your journaling on this side, and if you want really hidden journaling, you write it on that side. But I like it, even though now that I look at it, I was, I was going to do it in the other direction, but it's working. It will work. Okay, so that is sticking, and this will go over a page, okay, so it'll go over a page like this, this is what you'll see from this side, this is what you'll see from this side, and you've got your hidden journaling card. So we have a hidden paper clip and a hidden journaling card, we've added two of our antique um, ribbon closures so I can mark off two of those. I can mark off two, two hiddens. And if you're not understanding what I'm talking about, this is part of a challenge, a junk journal challenge. And so um, some of the requirements are you have to ha add five antique ribbon closures somewhere in your journal and you need five hiddens somewhere in your journal. So this gives me two hiddens. It gives me, um, and it counts as a paper clip. Okay, so it counts as a paper clip. And there we go. I love, love, love it. So we've done this one. So we have one orange one left. Did we do our three things? We've got ribbon, we've got note paper, and we've added tissue. And, um, and book page. So we're good on uh, that we've added enough things. Okay, so we have one more. And so let's see, what can we do? We have this piece that I took a piece of sticky page and added to it. I think we'll do a, just let's fold this over. Yeah, if we fold it all the way. And I think we'll come in from this side with our paper clip. Okay, so our paper clip's going to come in from this side. And... Okay, so it's going to come in from this side. What I'm going to do 
is I am going to close this top part, come around and close this side. We'll have a little tiny bit of a pocket here that we'll be able to put something in. And, you know, I love that. I love when things have a place like that. So little pockets because I love pockets and I cannot lie. <laughs> okay. So something a little different. We'll just close this off. It's going to be a regular paper clip, um, but we need to go ahead and continue to help this stay closed. Okay, stay tuned because we're going to do a couple just really simple um, ones that I'll be able to use in my uh, as I'm getting my fall J and C fall 22 journal finished, I need a couple more um, paper clips. So I'll do those. Okay. And when I do the charms and things, I can add those onto these paper clips as well. So, okay. So I think that's, that's uh, probably as good as it gets. Let's go ahead and hold it just a little bit longer. Okay. And remember, you do have staples and you can use staples if you're concerned about how something is holding Okay, so there we have this little spot. This little piece can go in there. I love it. And I think we're going to come back to using one of the stickers. This one has the tree with the poppies down below. make it look like a little picture frame it's kind of be be fun to have an orange paper clip in here okay so I was actually thinking that just putting a ooh I like that I think I like that a lot I think we'll just do that so we'll, oh, you know what? Let's use the Cosmic Shimmer here because this is kind of like vellum. Oh, the top came off <laughs> all by itself. I like this glue. Um, it is for like when you're gluing on acetate and vellum and things like that it seems to be working really good where the XL works really good on like glossy paper like magazine paper and the like the backing for stickers not the acetate backing but you know the the backing like is on the dollar the packaging part and it's always shiny I like the way it's working on that. So we have digital, we have sticker, and we have the flower. And I think we'll add our this on. And again, we're, <laughs> we're really trying to help with the bulk. So we're going to go ahead and just do a fold over, um, a glue fold over on this ribbon. Glue fold over. Okay. That'll keep it on there. I want to pull it to the edge. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, so that was a simple one. But this part is really fun. Just go ahead and after it's all dried, we'll put that in there. I think we'll go ahead and we'll add a one of the stickers from our sticker sheet. Oh, those are cute, but I think we'll do I think we'll just do the hand. It's got roses, but I think that's Oh, it just I ripped the I ripped the hand so it'll just be off like that okay so paper clip with a pocket and I'm not gonna put that in there yet because it's still drying okay so now I've used all my paper clips from my binding kit so now we'll just do a couple of other things that you can do um, one thing is, is if you have a tag, and we need the other tag because this one's in the wrong direction. Okay, see, that's that needs to be a bottom tag. Um, but if you have a tag, you can go ahead, add your, um, your lace or your ribbon or whatever it is that you're wanting to tie off the top. So we'll go ahead and put that on so that that's already done. I'm just going to do a little one because it's going to go. Okay. And then, I mean, you can literally just go ahead. If you have a pretty paper clip, you can um, use your item that has a hole and just go ahead just like that just there you go um you can go ahead and bring something in and you know add it here so that you're covering that up um let's go ahead and i'll put this in my my other other thing because i can't use it did I have an, another orange? Because I like this one better. Oh, well. And then we'll go around this. So the flinch card digital is available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. You get the numbers 1 through 31. It is great for... Um, if you are doing any type of like a December daily and you need the daily numbers or, or even um, October daily or your 31 or 30 days of thankfulness and you need number pages or I just love using them. Um, We have we have the ticket and the flower. So I do have my um, VIP project also that could probably use a couple things. So maybe this will go in there. Or heck, one of might might go in one of my other fall things. Okay, but there I wanted to show you just using a tag or something that already has the hole and being able to make it into a paper clip. It's gonna be a nice paper clip. Now this piece, this whole piece is gonna come out the top. Okay. Um it'll come off the top of your page. So like that. 
If you had done it so that it comes off the side, you can do that as well. And there you go. Okay, so that gives you another idea. Um, for something really super simple, and we'll do this for my other journal. Um, oh, I didn't cut that long enough. Okay, we'll go ahead and you can just go through your paper clip. Okay, so the two loops are down here. You're going in the side with the one loop and come up. Put your pieces through and pull. Okay, that is one of the simplest paper clips that you can do, and they are really pretty. Um, so there you go. Also, you know, a set of paper clips can make a really nice gift, I believe. Okay, so those are some of the easiest ways of doing a paper clip. There's also um, several, well, there's several other ways. So you can go ahead and I'll leave a couple of paper clip videos in the description box down below for you to check out. But I have finished. I've got my, my uh, paper clips ready for my project, for my um, journal. And I'm excited that we were able to do some of the hidden and the antique closures. So, um, so that was the other thing that I was able to get done. Which one is your favorite? Is there one that you're actually going to try? I would love to know. Are you doing the challenge this time? Let us know in the comments down below. And um, how is it going? How, how are you doing on your challenge? So let's take a look at what we made and um, how they can be used in a journal. We have several here that are finished. And so let's take a look. So we have our simple just tie on here and that will go in my box for the JNC Fall 22. Um, I'll be putting that in there. This one was uh, our stamp. Our ticket was stamped on a piece of cardstock. Then we've glued it to another piece of cardstock with our um, paper clip in between. We added our ribbon here, added one of the notebook flowers, and a little bit of the dictionary page. This um, this paper clip is going to be able to go from this direction or this direction. Okay, and we've got a beautiful paper clip, clip on this side, and then we have a paper clip on this side. Okay. Then we have our banner style, and this one will be able, this one goes from the side. So that's what you see from that side, and that's what you'll see from that side. We have added our ribbon, our lace, a sticker, and the flower. This one is another one of the large ones. I probably want to go in from the top with this one. We have the burlap on the top. This was a strip of paper, and we just folded it up, put the paper clip in the, in the middle, added a sticker, a ticket, and the flower. This is the one that we just did. It was a tag, and we went through the whole of the tag, covered the paper clip here with a flint card, a ticket, and flower. Added just that little piece, that scrap that we had, and this one, that's how it holds, but you could also put it from the side. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have this one here, and the paper clip is actually on the top of this, okay? 
and we have that can go on and then you can have a little bit of journaling space there just for something fun a little of the ribbon we added a sticker a flinch card and the um, little flower there okay so that one will go from the side like that then we have our hidden paper clip okay so this is our hidden paper clip that gives us our paper clip part of this and it's a hidden so i'm going to get to mark off a hidden there i have a hidden journaling card here so i'll get to mark off a hidden there and then we added the tie okay so this is the tie antique ribbon closure and then over on this side we added the in and out ribbon closure and a flower so this is pretty heavy i would put it on a, a heavier paper but you are going to be able to hold something from this side and you'll be able to hold something from this side okay so isn't that awesome i love how that turned out i had a vision <laughs> And I'm so excited that it turned out. Looks interesting here, but I think it looks really great on the page. Okay, we did use the tissue on top of dictionary page here, and we used two um, pieces of cardstock stacked here. Okay. So those are my paperclip ideas for today. Again, I will put a link to a videos of other paperclip ideas because I have, I've done several paperclip videos. But for my journal this time, I have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I used the paperclips from my binding kit. Um, I do have two other paper clips that we have all that we've made, and um, if I still have a free paper clip, then this one will get added into the journal also. But there you go. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget that we do have the fall collab challenge hop. The day five videos and pictures are out there. You can find them by using hashtag JNC Fall 22. That is the collab with Kara Brandon and Dear Julie Julie. We have several people that are doing it. You want to get all your projects finished and your final finished by next Wednesday. Um and posted by the 21st that's when we'll be checking to see who is going to be receiving the free journal kits from dear julie julie and kara brandon i want to thank you so much for uh, participating in that and for liking and sharing those that are playing along and of course, there's still time. You can go ahead and you can still purchase the uh, digital kits. They're five page digital kits from Dear Julie Julie and a five page kit from Kara Brandon. Make sure you're getting the Fall 22 kits. They are the wildlife kits. And um, then you uh, follow the um, details video and it will give you all the instructions. So again, thank you so much for being here. Ah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is our Freebie Friday. Yeah, Freebie Friday. So hopefully we'll see you here tomorrow. Um, and remember, you can find the Freebie Friday in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, as well as the buymeacoffee.com Dear Julie Julie. There you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.